There's a lot of reasons why a DSP crossover, and generally uh, we're going to talk about DSP crossovers and active crossovers as being the same. An active crossover could be all analog. It doesn't have quite as many uh, of the same uh, benefits, so it's a subset of what we can talk about here. When I was preparing this, this came from actually a prep uh, a presentation that Paul Beckman of DSP Concepts and I did a number of years ago at a uh, AMA show, which is uh, a group of loudspeaker manufacturers, and it was part of a two-hour course. But when I first started looking at some of this, and you can see this today, I would find that people would say, well, passives are good and actives are good, and it kind of just depends. And I think these were mostly written by loudspeaker manufacturers who have a line of quite a few passive loudspeakers. Uh, what you're going to find is that, from my point of view, there's very, very little benefit to a passive crossover. So this is a far more partisan point of view. I would say an active an active crossover, whether it's DSP or purely analog, has tremendous advantages over any kind of passive crossover. And we're going to talk about a number of those today. Uh, and not all of them, frankly. There's still more, but these are a good set of them.